a story of modern-day horror. There is evidence that the Chinese state is carving out organs from innocent people, then selling them for profit, a claim that's been made for over a decade. And now, this People's Tribunal says this has actually happened on a substantial scale. We, the tribunal members, are all certain, unanimously and sure beyond reasonable doubt, that in China, forced organ harvesting from prisoners of conscience has been practiced for a substantial period of time involving a very substantial number of victims. The panel of seven concluded after over 30 witnesses gave evidence that the allegations were credible. Witness testimonies supported allegations that the victims were often people jailed for their belief, mainly practitioners of Falun Gong, a spiritual practice that has been suppressed in China since 1999. Uyghur Muslims, Tibetan Buddhists, and house Christians are also thought to be victimized. Authors of the 2016 report, Bloody Harvest and Update, said that prisoners of conscience were subjected to medical exams to assess their suitability for organ transplantation. Uyghur surgeon Enver Toti said he was forced to extract organs from a man who was still alive. She was trying to struggle to resist my insertion, but he was too weak to, to do action against my insertion. There's a English expression saying, too good to be true. In this case, it's too bad to be true. People's tribunals were originally set up during the era of the Vietnam War to help victims of serious crimes when international bodies are unwilling to investigate. This type of tribunal can help put pressure on international organizations and raise awareness. The purpose of this is to let the public know what has happened to the victims in this particular case, how terrible it is for them to be exposed to this sort of uh, torture and eventually uh, pillage of their organs through the most horrible way. The final judgment is due in the spring of next year, but for many victims who feel they've been denied justice, it can't come soon enough. <laughs>